Yo, so we back in this thing again. And as you see the title, bro, we back talking about NBA Live. Now, when you watch this video, first of all, shout out to everybody that gave me likes and who subscribed off the last video. But when you watch this video, please, I'm, I am about to be highly critical of NBA Live. Now, I'm not shitting on this just to shit on it. To make something great, you got to tear it down and build it right up from the beginning, right? And what I'm about to do is I'm finna tear NBA Live down. I want them to make this shit great, though. So I'm not just hating that hate. But fuck it, let's get into it, bro. As I said, I keep it 150 with y'all at all times and all costs. So if you're an NBA Live fan, you finna hate this video. But fuck it, let's get into it, bro. Was NBA Live 16 as bad as everybody said it was? Yes, it was, dog. And let me go ahead and get into it. Reason one, immediately when you start up a play now game and you look at the presentation of NBA Live, they have the ESPN branding. It looks good. you like, oh shit, this, shit this, this looks like it has potential, right? But then you get into the gameplay and that's where it stops showing potential and it starts showing that how they have yet to take steps forward. They taking baby steps forward at best and 2K is taking leaps compared to what they are doing. So, one thing that I had a problem with is the AI. I'm gonna show a couple of clips of how stupid the AI could be at time. And I bring you example number one. We got Kyrie Irving right here. I'm playing him on the hardest difficulty. And Kyrie just immediately turns around and start going back court. He could push the break right here. You got LeBron, throw LeBron a full court pass. Nah, let me step back a bit. <laughs> I don't understand how you can allow your CPU to be this dumb on your on your hardest difficulty, but it's possible. Example number two, we got Dilva Dover here. No, please don't mind my damn face in the side of the video. I didn't know my damn face cam was going, but we got Dilva Dover late in the shot clock, and he just stops moving. Shot clock violation. Want another example? Kyrie again. We got Kyrie right here. Watch this play. He just stops moving. And he lets the play continue to go. And we down court and he just stops. I don't know what I don't know what it was, but he just stopped playing for a couple of plays. And then we got back into the game. The only way he got back into it, the computer had to pass him the ball one more time. Let's go into problem number two. Problem number two. When you dribble, the bumping, the bumping in this game is so bad. You could easily bump your way into the paint and score every time. Right now, let me put a clip on right now. Look, you're going to see me trying to hit these moves, right? I'm going to try to first cross over between my legs. They slow me down and they cancel my animation so I could get bumped. I try to hit a spin move. They cancel my animation one more time so I could get bumped. Then I try to hit one more move. I see they bumping me again and I just go for a layup. By that time, after all of those times with them bumping me, first of all, I got a defender in front of me who's not good on defense. I have Kyrie Irving in front of John Wall. He's not staying in front of John Wall. But Live wanted him to stay in front of me so much they backed him up. And by the time, after those three bump animations, I got an easy score. I'm in, I'm in the position. Easy. And while we on gameplay, bro, let's go ahead and address these goofy animations in this game. I have evidence of goofy on goofy animations, ranging from this block right here to steals to matter of fact. Let's let's look at one of the craziest animations I've seen in this game. We're gonna look at Kevin Love here. Did you see the shot that he just threw up? There was no foul on this play. It's early in the shot clock. And he just threw up this absolute trash. I would love to sit there and break this gameplay down, but this video will be too long, bro. Let's just dress something else. Full court passes are crazy in this game. You can throw touchdowns in this game. The CPU does not turn their head to adjust to the damn ball a lot of times. And sometimes they do. I won't sit there and lie and say they don't all the time. Sometimes they do, but it's rare. The commentary in this game, bad, 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 bro. They do not recognize some of the most impactful moments of the game. I have plays of LeBron coming through with a big jam. In the commentary, bro, it's, it's just flat, dog. Like, it don't fit the moment. Matter of fact, I got two clips. First clip, Bradley Bill with a big dunk. 
the commentary does not break away from their set story about LeBron. And two, it's a big dunk by LeBron. You know if this happened in 2K, you're going to have it. Oh! But on this game, that shit was so damn flat. Listen to it. After those clips, bro, that's the video, man. Y'all like, y'all subscribe. Click the notifications, bro. More videos are on the way. And we out. Numbers. Sometimes we forget he's just a great team player. Who might? Who might? <laughs> LeBron James? I haven't heard of him. To James. Throws down the dunk. Oh, that's a sweet finish right there. Dunking the ball with strength and force.